everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one, we're going to be reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina episode 8 called A Silver Tongue. Um, recap? Uh, we see the gang. Oh, it was all about scanning last one. That episode was just brilliant just, because. Just dousing all these potions, trying to figure out a way to yeah. get them out of it. Um, that um, prison. But then they end up. Um, yeah, they cause a. It was, well, they've got Archibald. So they, they're basically trying to cause a distraction so they can get Percy's sister out. Um, and eventually they do succeed, and Scanlan, Scanlan does end up blowing up that guy's mansion, like he said. Duke something, I can't they, remember his name, yeah. Yeah. Um, but right at the end, uh, when Percy gets into the uh, into the room with the professor. Professor um, Anders, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he slits his sister's throat. Mm. And <laughs> that's why it ends, and it was just so messed up to see. Because I don't know. A part of me is like, is that really your sister? Like, oh, did know. you not think it was her? I don't know why. I just, I just, I thought maybe it's just like. I mean, it probably is her. I think but... it's definitely her, and he's definitely set her throat in front of him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, we're gonna see Percy go on a proper bender here. Yeah, or dark Percy, or whatever the hell. Yeah. That thing was that got him to build that gun. Yeah. Remember, he was like, yeah. um, these nightmares, these dreams yeah. I had, they're, the, they're what caused me to build this weapon kind of thing. Like, no, 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 don't always yeah. follow what your dreams tell you to do, mate. Uh, 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 uh. Um, but this one's called a silver tongue. So I'm assuming someone's going to be manipulating someone in mm. some way or fashion. Um, but let's see what happens in this one. Episode eight, a silver tongue. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, um, Pike was like, it's some, it's something inside me, or that's preventing me from connecting to the Everlight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? That doesn't seem like Everlight. Oh damn. This chamber is a conduit for more energy than any one person can channel. Especially one for whom the connection to the Everlight is questionable. Damn, there's no need for that. Leave me. Maybe to find the light you have to find the darkness and travel that way around. <laughs> <laughs> accept the darkness. <laughs> Please don't accept the darkness. I've wanted to do that for longer than you can imagine. The bag that says dirt. Need pressure on the wound before the spell can hold. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, oh man, she is going fast. Oh, the joy in watching the Dorolo child meet a painful end. Cheers. It makes no sense. Why would they keep her alive all this time just for... We're all sons of bitches, Dorolo. You in particular. From that bitch who bore you. Oh, oh wow, that's savage, isn't it? <laughs> you didn't know your parents like I did. They took every opportunity to keep an intellect like mine nose down in the dirt. Yeah, that's not a reason to kill them. Briar Woods see me for a greater purpose. They have given me a great many rewards. Eyes on the road. I got it. Just silver, silver tongue. Silver tongue. Yeah. It's just gonna be bouncing off you... of him. Oh, maybe not. Damn. You might need a bigger, bigger gun. You don't believe him. I know. It's annoying, isn't it? I realise it's a long show, but an extra chance for a private lesson. Oh, you're gonna really die. Ooh, Ooh you died. Which one can I kill? Literally anyone. <laughs> oh come on she looks gone gone Cassandra oh no she's she dead <gasps> oh <wow. laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I thought she died because her neck just <laughs> fell not even a scratch yeah how'd you one, two, three. 
Oh, how do you think it flew 3 to 11 there? <laughs> Oh, well done. The, no. the kink in the armor, basically. Mm. Chink. That's the one. <laughs> kink. Hey! Nice. This guy doesn't seem phased at all. Yeah, don't like that. I hate your face so much. <laughs> Kill your friends for me. Oh, wow, so it's... Yeah, it is manipulation. Yeah. Even to... At your command. Oh, no. Kill Vox Machina. You know what we need to do? Chop his tongue off. Damn straight. Maybe she does need to take a time out. Oh, my God. Uh, come on, flashing bit of light. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yay! Neverlight? Is that really you? I, I tried to live up to your standards to, to be a steward of your faith, but I, I failed. Lies will not lead you back. I'm... I'm not lying! I... Whoa. Oh my god. She's gonna get burned alive. We're your friends, remember? We love... <laughs> Stay out of his range. There's no reasoning with him while he's charmed. Yeah, get to Anders. We have to disarm him. You go high. I'll go low. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that plan didn't work. Well, they disarmed it. They did take his axe off him, so that's a good thing. Wasting our time on him. Enough of this! Oh, no! It's just getting worse. I want you to know how you died. Oh, my God, he's got them. Did it to you? He's got them all against him. Mm. Percy, you need to make a perfect shot at that guy's tongue. Or just face, just kill him. It doesn't mean you don't have to surgically take his tongue out. A talented mind needs time to cultivate, to think, to work out all the angles. He's buying out time. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We'll see the other. Oh, what, what a, a shot. shot. What a shot. <laughs> that was sick. Ooh, uh, guys, focus on Percy. Something's. Ooh. We're gonna see it here again, aren't we? And you betrayed us when we needed you most. You're the face I saw when murder entered my heart. Ooh. <laughs> it's cold as ice. He absolutely blew his head off. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Are you all right? I think she's going to be okay. When we escaped, I saw you fall. I thought you were dead. But I thought you'd come back to check. They kept you alive. Of course they did. But why? Parading me in front of Whitestone, but I've been using them too. Feeding information to the Resistance. Hmm. Hmm. Not entirely sure I trust her. Yeah. Oh, hey, is this one of them connector dots? <laughs> it's a star chart, Krog. The solstice. That's five days from now. We need to signal Archie. Let him know that Cassandra is safe. Yeah, they can mount a full assault. If they Before. were... Yeah, because they were like, oh, she's like the perfect hostage. Mm. Not anymore. Daleks, epic. I I'm sorry, Lady Briarwood. Did you need me to bring you something? You already have. Oh, uh, you're dead. Oh, I Ooh. knew it. Yeah, that seemed obvious. 
So yeah, they're using the stones that they mined Survivor, for magical element. Protecting you. What the hell did she just do? Resurrecting an army? Yeah. She's not having luck either way, is she? To you, I swear. No. Not to me, little one. Lying to, to yourself? yourself? Yeah. The truth. What, is she strayed the from the path? Is, I... I left the righteous path. Yeah. I was drawn to depravity and violence. When I'm with my friends, we, we mix it up and we drink, we fight and curse, but I know it's wrong. Why do you think it's wrong? Because I put them before you. You didn't sever it. You did. I did. Yeah. Now you speak truth. This is going to be like, be yourself. I didn't. Yeah. Any path can be a holy one. So long as one walks it with truth. Who are you? you. She's Pike, a part of Vox Machina. Please. <laughs> Your plan just backfired. You got scared. I was, I was gonna say <laughs> if you haven't seen him yet. We got scared land. Struck by the baddest mobile fucker. You got scared land. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Fucking a. Huh. Whoa. Oh, that doesn't look good. Scanlan, bad guy. Scanlan, that's a bad guy. You fellas got room for a third? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's the walking dead, basically. Rebels should be gathering. If they saw the signal. You have bigger problems, Percy. There's a whore. Whore. There's a whore. Yeah, not really the time for one of your whorehouse stories. <laughs> horde. <laughs> oh, horde of undead! Oh, no. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot, a lot. Oh, that's fuck me, lot. that's a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. They basically prematurely announced themselves and enraged the enraged Delilah. Basically, the arseholes that have taken over this, uh, taken over Whitestone. Um, that was good. Yeah, what do you that think? It was a good episode. That was a really good episode. I didn't realize when we said when we were talking about Silver Tongue in the beginning. I didn't really, obviously there was some sort of manipulation, but I didn't realize it was like a mind control kind of thing almost. Yeah. Um, and that shot to take it out of his mouth was all the angles epic it was yeah just, just um beyond epic okay so we now have cassandra we can sort of gather the villagers or, or you know mm. sort of arm everyone kind of thing but maybe yeah maybe announcing it too early was a mistake maybe yeah. regroup first and <laughs> and arm yourselves and now they've got to take care of this problem which is it it's seems like it's gonna be a another, isn't it it's just, it's never Which ending. Is yeah, yeah. Um, Pike, what path do you think she's going to choose? She'll go down the Vox path. Yeah. I, I don't think she'll. But still retain the light because she's she's now comfortable with whom she is, kind of thing. Who she is or whom she is? I don't know which I one. Think, but yeah. I, I think with her, because she had obviously self doubt, that's what obviously caused the problem in the first place. Yeah. But actually, it was, like I said, it was all in her mind all along. Um, yeah, she'll choose, she'll choose the, I think she'll choose the Vox part. Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, we got Delilah raising the undead, but that's... Seems like it's going to be one of those things where she'll raise the undead, they'll take care of it, she'll raise something else, they'll just have to do it. They really need to make a beeline for Delilah and Silas. I think it's more they're buying time because obviously whatever's going to happen on the solstice is yeah. the main the main thing they might resurrect someone oh yeah they they've got five days they've got five days i forgot about that yeah so there'll be some sort of 
power that they've gained from it or um, some sort of resurrection. Yeah, true. And lastly, Cassandra. She's a weird character, isn't it? Like, firstly, why would why would they have kept her alive for so long to parade her? Is it just a parade her? Because I suppose it does make sense in a way because then it seemed weird Anders would... killing her off straight away kind of thing. Now that I think yeah. about it, like, mm, yeah, it seemed like it's... you could have used her, but okay. They probably have been using her. Um, yeah. In the sense that if someone was to kind of come to the village, then she'd be like, look, we've still got a Dorolo here or whatever. But obviously they've been keeping her in some sort of hiding, you know what, otherwise. You know what, uh, the out. funny thing about that is like, if someone came and like, she's like, oh, there's still a Dorolo here. It looks like a fucking shit show. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a town, yeah. like is the, the town's disheveled, like there's like rubble everywhere. Trees and gone. the mm. people are dressed in rags and the trees gone. Be like, there's still a Dorolo here. No need to worry kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, great episode. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Um, what did you think? Did we miss anything out? Let us know. Um, but other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.